Good morning, everyone. Today's tutorial is to show you how to change from uh, internal storage to uh, SD storage by default. So basically, your downloaded application, so whatever you download from Google Play, will directly go to your SD card. So in order to do that, you need to install the uh, softwares from the description below. Once you do that, you you install this application. So press next, 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 next. Next, install. I mean, <clears throat> once you're done, just press finish, launch the app. Now you should see your disk here. Well, where's mine? Yeah, this is mine. So you should uh, you should insert your SD card, okay, into your computer or laptop, and then. Right click it. Oh, before you format your uh, micro SD, make sure to back it up simply by moving all of your data to your computer or back up with a, sp a special software. Once you do that, Delete all partitions. Press yes. Apply. Press yes again. Once you have uh, formatted your micro SD, highlight the partition. Press create. Uh, you're gonna at this stage you're gonna have two partitions. One of them is gonna be your media, where you're gonna store all of your pictures, videos, musics, and the picture where you capture or t uh, or record a video. So we'll label it as media, or wherever you want to call it as. Select the primary. Uh, for a file system, it should be FAT32. Rename it. Since I'm a big fan of media, I'm gonna keep it as maybe 18. Yeah, 18.03. Okay. And then for your second storage, for uh, I mean partition, press create again. Press yes. Then here is gonna be all your. Uh, and this will be your new link. So whatever you download from Google Play Store will directly go to this partition. So this will be called as, so first of all, let me change this, create it as primary file system should be. Well, at this stage, if you ha have, if you're using stock ROM, then click ext2. If you're using custom ROM, then click ext3. Uh, Since I'm using stock ROM, I'm gonna click ext2. I'm gonna name it as downloads. Okay, and then pl press apply. Okay, it takes it'll take some time, so be patient. As you card in your Android device, you go to Play Store and type link to SD. Then download it. Open it up, grant the permission. As you can see, the window just popped up. You should have this window. If you don't have this window, that, that means you have made a mistake on the, video, uh, on the steps that I was showing you previously. So, if you're using a stock ROM, then you click on ext2. If you are using custom ROM, then click on ext3. For me, is stock ROM, so I'm gonna pick on ext2. Press OK. Now uh, re reboot your device. Let's test it out. So, let me download any random application. Let's say Sticky Balls game. So, yep.
So as you can see here, the uh, uh, the application size, the, uh, the like the data that is stored in the internal storage is zero, while on the micro SD is sixty eight point one six megabyte. So in other words, all of the data of the application, the downloaded application, will directly go to your SD card. That's yourself.